dear students today we are going to discuss about the next uml diagram is communication diagram so communication diagram is a type of interaction diagram and it is similar to sequence diagram so communication diagram is also called as collaboration diagram the difference between communication diagram and sequence diagram is communication diagram focus more on object relationships whereas sequence diagram focus on a time and the order of events is executed so this is the basic understanding about communication diagram today we are going to discuss about how to draw the communication diagram for a student enrollment so for to draw the communication diagram first we have to list out the list of objects i have started the first one as a student and the student going to interact with user interface here the student is the actor of our diagram right there is no special symbol uh, for uh, to denote the actor in the communication tool box so that's why i have used the lifeline for student the remaining part we can use it as it is for uh, to represent all the objects now the student going to interact with the user interface that information has to verified by the authentication module so how can we can verify that information with the help of database and the next one for the enrollment process course management is plays a major role to enroll the course right and the final object is notification so after successful the enrollment process notification module gives that confirmation message to the student right now i am going to give the message one by one as a student going to interact with user interface that is student going to log in into that user interface the next step as a user interface module it will be authenticated and that information has to communicated with authentication module that's the second stage here how we are going to validate that information we have to verify with the details in the database right so here authentication module going to verify the credentials whatever it's already stored in the database right here as a communication diagram each and every stage it will be represented the sequence number so where the process is started what's the next step what's the next step that sequence number either 1 2 3 4 5 it's easily understand so how the process is going to be executed right so after the verification the database going to give that reverse message to the user interface whether the login is success or failure the next step after successful login the student going to select the course that message is communicated with the course management so this is the fifth step or the message it will be communicated from user interface to course management right the next step once the student has selected the course that information has to updated in the database right so here the course management forward the message to database that the information it will be updated right so update enrollment that's the sixth step and the next one once the information is updated in the database the enrollment confirmation message has to send to the notification module right so then only the student can understand whether the enrollment process is succeed or not right here as a notification module get that final confirmation now okay the student is successfully selected the course or enrolled the course right so that information has to communicate it to the student right now this is the final step of the process as a notification module 
send the final confirmation message to the student whether the course is enrolled or not right so that notification sent from the notification module to student right so this is the simplest way we can create a communication diagram in star uml software right if you want to add few more objects you can add it over here and the sequence is very very important how it going to be communicated with each object right so as a student going to login into that user interface now the user interface going to interact with the authentication module that information it's verified by the database and the database giving the confirmation message to user interface so after successful login the student going to select the course by the help of course management and finally after successful enrollment that confirmation has to send to the student right so this is the simplest way you can create that communication diagram i hope this information is helpful to you all thank you thanks for watching